Space Origins from Kiyo, the capital of Ukraine. And today I'm in a very special park. I'm in Japanese park in Kiev. Yes, I'm in a park in Kyoto, near Lisawa subway station, just outside of the center of Kiev. Because the last station, Lisawa, and here there is a Kyoto park. Because Kyoto is a sister city of to the city of Kiev. And this interesting park has very interesting features like real Japanese park. And first of all, you see here there is a small lake, a pond, how you say, with stones, huge stones like in Japan, with a nice bridge. And of course inside this nice lake you can see some tiny fish. Yes, tiny fish, probably gray color Ukrainian fish and red color and white color Japanese fish. Or we call it golden fish. In Japan, golden fish is called koi. And koi is a very common fish in Japanese lake and in Japanese river. And you know, I've seen koi in big river. And actually the koi was a big size like that. Even fishermen caught the koi this size and later released it to the city in Nagoya city. Well, and here we have only very tiny, very tiny golden fish. And by the way, police is very careful about it. Police take care about the park and of course uh, no one doesn't try to, ca to catch the golden fish from this nice lake. And of course, you see here near the lake, all everything is arranged like in a park. And of course, a near side, this is like a temple, big temple like, like in Japanese park. Sometimes you can see it. And this temple, oh well, well, you can come inside. Big, very nice, very tall, very tall temple. This is a very mm -hmm. special temple which is done with very old stones, very old stones with engraved pictures and everything just is also just decorated with stones. So this nice Japanese style. Maybe you have this kind of lake in your countryside house, but this is a public uh, park, so that's every, for everyone. And we can see for this temple just nearby. And of course, in Japanese city, when you watch for the river, you can see always carps, normal wild fish. People so love them very much, they do not catch fish from the river in the city, for instance, in Tsukuba, in Nagoya, in Fukuoka. I've seen fish, but I have not seen fishermen. So, because the fish, usually in a Japanese river, just for pleasure. Sometimes, even koi, escaping from special farming places they are also living in a normal river or just water stream but here of course that's artificial place so golden fish we are now hidden actually somewhere in the shadow because today is very hot today 16th august of 2015 and i would like to show you this huge very nice monument very nice monument and come here, I'll show you something. <coughs> then you come into Japanese temple. Always you need, before you come in, you need to pay a little bit like a gift for, for Japanese temple. For instance, you can pay some money, you can put this money near the temple. But I would like to show you this nice special gift from Japan and I put it here near this monument, near this temple. So this temple, this is symbol, I say so, of Japan in the Kyoto Park. You see here the, here the picture of Buddha, the picture of God. And this is a special nice toy from Japan. Which is the name of this toy? You know, of course, that's a Daruma. It's a Daruma, very nice, interesting toy, very lovely, and Daruma with white eyes. What's the meaning of Daruma? 
The meaning is very interesting. If you can put, if you want that your dream will come true, then you have a dream. You can put just a dark mark on the eye of Daruma. So you are dreaming and you put and you mark one eye. And when your dream came true, and you are so happy very much about it. So you can put the next dark mark on the next eye of the Daruma. So we are here, we are dreaming. I am not putting here and now the dark mark, but I want to do it. And I do it privately. And of course, you can see this is guy. This is a hornet. The hornet from Ukrainian park. Kyoto. But this hornet is very famous in Japan too. Some people even <laughs> eating hornet with alcohol in Japan. Yes, indeed. Some people are so scared and afraid so much about hornets. But some people love them and I love them too. So, best greetings from Kiev, Kyoto Park, best greetings from Ukrainian hornet and from Japanese Daruma. And looking forward to see you soon on my channel. Press likes and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, I will make more stories about Kyiv and about Japan too. And see you soon on my channel.